uh, hi friends uh, in this particular video i am giving you brief idea about uh, timing diagrams uh, of 8086 in maximum mode. okay so in the last uh, video i explained uh, the operation of uh, 8086 in maximum mode okay and last before video I explained the timing diagram of 8086 in minimum mode so with that knowledge we can easily draw the timing diagram for maximum mode here okay let us see how to draw the timing diagram for maximum mode of 8086 operation So now I am sharing uh, maximum mode operation of HG rate 6. So we observed that uh, in the last video what is the operation of HG uh, rate 6 in maximum mode. So here uh, there is a one external uh, I will highlight it. Right now, this is external bus controller. Name is 8288. Okay, now this is act like a one slave, and the microprocessor 8086 microprocessor will give you command to 8288 via three pins. See here, S naught bar, S one bar, and S two bar. With the help of uh, these three pins, uh, 8086 will give you command to 8288, which operation uh, it will perform. Okay, accordingly, it will activate uh, trans receivers as well as latches and as well as uh, any of the control signals, right? And one more is uh, yeah, the clock range, uh, clock frequency range of 828, 8, 8, 8, and 806. They are synchronized. See here, the clock frequency, see here, clock frequency this one, and similarly, clock frequency of uh, 806. Both are synchronized with the same value. Okay, then with the same rate, uh, 8288 uh, perform the operation. Okay, as based on the command given by the processor. Okay, so you know, here also we are taking multiplexer address and data lines and make it like a, a pure address lines and pure data lines with the help of uh, ALE signal coming from the 8288 and DT by R bar signal, DN signal. Okay, these, with the help of these three signals, we are activating latches and trans receivers accordingly. We will get. Okay, anyway, uh, in the last video, I given complete uh, overview of this. Now here, uh, now confined to uh, today's uh, topic, uh, that is the uh, timing diagram of uh, 8086 in maximum mode. For that, uh, here in 8086 timing diagram, especially in maximum mode, we get uh, first ALE signal. This is essential. ALE signal will be appeared. Then multiplexer address and data lines. Then uh, multiplexer address and status lines and VHG bus slash S7 required. Okay. Then clock is essential. Without clock, uh, won't perform any operations. Then uh, I'll see memory read similarly memory write or advanced memory write these three are required depends on the problem then similarly I/O read I/O write or advanced I/O write so first six we are using in uh, timing diagram in addition to multiplex lines then clock then similarly DEN DT by R bar and ALE okay all these signals are essential for developing the timing diagram let us see first part now for example uh, 8086 wants to perform a read operation. Okay, let us see how to write the or how to develop the timing diagram. So in that also, let us see first part same here also clock. What is the role of clock? Clock simply generates uh, clock pulses with a range of one bus cycle or one clock cycle. So here from T1 to T4 simply I am calling as a one machine cycle or bus cycle. So first here status lines are required. It depends on the problem. For example, uh, where we need to activate status lines S0 bar to S2 bar. Okay, so see here in generally okay this is also optional not required depending on the problem we can analyze it but it's not important for status lines activation is not uh, essential so but let us see first one clock is essential t1 is the first part of the machine cycle t2 to t4 are the remaining parts of the machine cycle okay first address and uh, status lines okay then bhg bar slash s7 here uh, multiplex address and status lines bhg bar slash s7 are transmitted to uh, are considered are the multiplex lines and during T1 time they are processing and after T1 what happens they are act like a pure status lines and pure address lines and VHE bar like that they are separating after T1. Okay next similarly address and uh, data lines also AD0 to AD15 if you take so these lines also processed during uh, T1 time actually during T1 time they are act like a address lines and remaining time they are act like a data lines so like that we have data lines from T2 to T4 time here. Okay, so now data lines are available from D2 to D4 time. Okay, 
uh, before T1, they are act like a multiplex lines. During T1, they are processed and make it like a pure address lines. Okay, after sub, uh, getting pure address lines, remaining time, T2, T4, they are act like a pure data lines, like the data lines are available. Then what is the next one? ALE, this is important. ALE should be high during first part of the machine cycle. This is first part. During T1 time, this is T1 time. T1 time, ALE must be high. The remaining part of the machine cycle, it should be low. Okay, and this ALE is used along with latches to separate uh, these multiplex lines into pure uh, address lines as well as status lines. Okay, and data lines accordingly. Now, uh, but let us see what is our aim. We should perform a read operation. For that, uh, we can select either memory read or IO read. For example, the processor wants to perform memory read operation. Then MRDC, memory read command is MRDC. See here, this MRDC must be low. Is actually in our case uh, memory read command bar, IO read command bar, like that they are bar signals, remember they are bar signals. Okay, in order to activate what happens, uh, these two must be low during uh, T2 to T4 times here, during T2 to T4 time, these lines must be low. Then only it will perform either uh, memory read or IO read. Okay, then what is the other one? DT by R, but it's a tri-state uh, pin, tri-state. Means it is not 0, not 1 uh, before T1. Okay, now DT by R bar, if I read operation, DT by R bar should be 0. For write operation, DT by R bar should be 1. So, DT by R bar should be 0 for receiving operation. I think but read 1 means for write operation. And before T2 actually, before T2, it should be tri-state. Means we are not giving 1 and not giving 0. Why T2 to T4 time only, we have data lines. Okay, like 8086 minimum mode also I mentioned same way. Okay, then other is uh, in 8086 minimum mode, uh, we have DN bar signal, DN bar, whereas here DN only, this is important, DN only. So when DN is activating by giving 1. So where we are giving 1 during T2 to T4. So here during T2 to T4 time, DN should be high, high. Then only DN signal is activated. Okay, so like that, uh, which are important. So ALE uh, should be high during first part of the machine cycle and low remaining part of the machine cycle, one point. Second, uh, multiplex rutters and data lines are act like a uh, multiplex lines before T1. During T1 time, they are act like a address and after T1, they are act like a data lines. Like that, uh, lines are available. And uh, multiplex rutters and status lines and BH bar slash S7. These lines also, before T1, they are act like a multiplex lines. During T1, uh, they are separating it into address lines and BHE bar, address lines and BHE bar. After T1, they are act like a pure status lines. Okay. Then uh, for read operation, especially memory read bar command must be uh, low during uh, T2 to T4 for memory read operation. For IO read operation, IO read command bar, IO RC bar should be low from T2 to T4. Whereas memory read command bar should be low from T2 to T4 for uh, memory operation. For IO operation, any one should be performed. Okay, as per the requirement, DT bar bar should be uh, low uh, for uh, read operation and high for uh, write operation during T2 to T4 and should be tri-state uh, for the remaining time. Okay, and DN bus to be high uh, during T2 to T4 and DN should be DN only here in uh, 8288 whereas in 8086 in minimum mode it is DN bar that should be low whereas here it should be high, that's the difference. Similarly for write uh, also same way, so we have clock is essential and clock should be from T1 to T4. So, uh, this is optional for this. So, coming to address lines here also multiplex address and status and BH bar slash S7. Then address and data lines. All three are 21 multiplex lines are there. So, before T1 they are act like a multiplex. So during T1 they are separating like a address and BH bar for this case. And after T1 act like a status. Similarly, AD0, AD15 also before T1 they are like a multiplex. During T1 they are separating like a address. After T1, they are act like a data lines, D0 to D15. Means T2 to T4, we have data. T2 to T4 time, we have data. Next, ALE should be high during T1 time. And from T2 to T4, uh, the ALE should be low. Separate lines. Then for right operation, see, our aim is right. So for right operation, what happens? We can select, we have two rights. Memory right. Okay, similarly, advanced memory right command. Okay, so normally, okay, see advanced memory write command, advanced IO write command, two write commands are there. We can use advanced or normal, normal, see memory write command bar, MWDC bar means memory write command bar, IO write command bar, other one is IO write command bar, advanced memory write command bar or advanced IO write command bar, we can use any one. For example, write operation what happens, all are bar signals, these signals must be low from T2 to T410. Okay, uh, for uh, Either, either we can select either memory or IO. So if it is memory, it should be low. 
from T2 to T4. If it is IO, that should be low from T2 to T4. Here also DN should be high from T2 to T4 time and before uh, T2 it should be low. Okay. Then if you make it this type of timing diagrams, we get a right operation of uh, 8086 in maximum mode. Okay. So like that we can analyze uh, read operation as well as write operation related to memory or IO easily. Okay. So, right. so thank you for watching this video. I hope you understand uh, how to develop uh, timing diagrams for both uh, uh, maximum mode in I memory map IO as well as IO map IO. Okay, both read and write operations. Okay, thank you for watching this video. Okay, if you really like, please kindly share my video to your friends and subscribe my channel. So, do you have any suggestions or any queries or any requirement? It please kindly make it a, a comment in comment section. Accordingly, I will act. Okay, accordingly, I will help you wherever it requires. Thank you so much.